Hi. Are you working from home at the moment? I am. I have been for most of my life. Uh, I'm not going to waste your time talking about what I do. I'm a stock photographer. I get out of bed. I take some pictures of stuff I find around the house. Take some pictures of myself. I take some pictures of my family. And I sell the pictures on the internet. Done. This video is about you and what you can do to be more productive if you're, you're working from home for the first time and you just feel overwhelmed and uh, this is new to you and strange and you, you're struggling to cope or get any work done. So, as somebody who is used to working from home, I think I might be able to offer you a few tips. In no particular order, these are my five tips for being more productive when you're working from home. Number one, if you should be working right now, get back to work. Don't look at me. Come back when you're truly able to appreciate this. Seriously though, seeing that you're able to work from home, I'm just gonna assume that you're in the kind of job that relies on you being at your computer with an open internet connection. If you don't need the internet for what you're doing, turn it off. That's my first tip. It's a double-edged sword, great for gathering information and great for procrastination. Especially when you're on your own. When you're in an office with other people, you're less likely to get, to get sidetracked and spend your time looking at stupid shit you shouldn't be looking at. Because everyone is doing what they, they need to do and there's this kind of code of conduct and everyone is just holding everybody else to account, directly and indirectly, and you're holding yourself to a higher standard. Basically, you don't want your colleagues catching you looking at the stuff you shouldn't be looking at. At home, however, with nobody around, you're much more likely to check your social media feed, you're much more likely to uh, spend time watching videos on YouTube and um, other tubes. So yeah, if you can, turn off your internet connection while you're working. If you can't, and you don't have the self-discipline to stay off non-essential browsing, install a website blocker. So this is an add-on to your browser that will either, depending on your settings, um, limit your time on certain websites or block access to them completely. A good one I used to use myself, I don't need it anymore because I'm so disciplined now, is Freedom. That's, that's what it's called, it's just called Freedom. It's well worth having a look at. Tip number two. Do your most significant work first. Notice that I use the word significant, not the word important. Because by significant, I mean the task that will have the greatest impact on the rest of your work. Ask yourself this, what is the one thing I can do right now that will make everything else easier? This by the way is not my idea. I got, got that quote from one of my favorite books, The One Thing. You should check it out, there's a link for it in the uh, description. Tip number three. I assume that on a regular day, before the world as we knew it ended, um, you had to start work at a certain time. If you don't need to have a conference call with colleagues or report back to your boss at a certain time and you're free to do your work whenever you, you know, choose, now that you're working from home, then do your work whenever you feel most comfortable doing it. Don't feel obliged to start work as soon as you roll out of bed just because you don't need to commute or get dressed for that matter. Take your time to reflect and get your mind and, and body ready for the day. If you feel more energized at noon, do your work at noon. If you're a night owl, do your work late in the evening. Everyone is different. Now is your chance to, to choose what works best for you. Maybe even try and get some exercise in before work. I'll tell you what I personally do and why I think this is a good way of working from home. I get up at 4 a.m. Yeah, that's right, 4 a.m. Sometimes I have a lion and I don't get up until 4.30 clean my teeth, then I meditate for 10 minutes, I go and make myself a double espresso, and I get to work on my computer. So why do I get up so early? Ah, well, that takes me to tip number four. Find somewhere quiet, isolate yourself from all distractions and external factors that might interrupt you for a duration of your choosing, which is however long you think you, you need to do your most significant task of the day. I would suggest two hours minimum. I have a four-year-old kid, he likes to make loud sounds. He's always asking me to, to bring him things like food and water. My partner is a stay-at-home mum looking after a new baby and she's always around too. By getting up at 4am, I'm usually guaranteed a solid um, three hours of complete uh, of completely uninterrupted time to do my work. Also, having finished a lot of my work by 8 a.m. When, when most people are about to get up and start their day, makes me feel 
feel really smug and, and good about myself. I'll look at the time and I'll be like, whoa, look at all the work I've already done and it's not even 8 o'clock yet. And that just, that feeling just fills me with positivity and the drive to keep on doing more productive things throughout the day. My fifth and final tip for being more productive when working from home is chill out. Don't feel too bad if you procrastinate a little bit. Just, just make a mental note of what distracted you. Tell yourself that it's okay, it happened. I got distracted. So what? I'm aware that I was distracted. Because I'm aware of this, I now choose not to be distracted and move on. There's some things that are beyond your control, you just have to accept that. So those are my five tips for being more productive when working from home. If you heed any of this advice and it helps your productivity, let me know in the comments. Or if you have your own hacks for working at home. Stick around for the next video where I explain what it is that I do that allows me to choose my own hours and work whenever and wherever I want. And how you could do it too if you're looking for a new career. Bye, see you later.